The Lackawaro County Historical Society presents Theodore Christensen, the 21st Governor of Minnesota from 1925 through 1931. Theodore Christensen was born to Robert and Emma in 1883 in the family Saad Dugout, a few miles west of what is now Lackawaro Village. He was the oldest of nine children. His father was born in Goodhue County of Norwegian parents. His family homesteaded in Lacropal County in 1874. Ted, as they called him, worked very long hours on the farm, but he knew education was very important, so he walked a mile back and forth each day to okay. school. Though he was quiet and shy, his teachers saw in him some aspiring potential and encouraged him. He took part in classroom debates and was often the winner. He himself yearned for a full education, and so he worked hard and long during the summer months and during holidays and weekends, doing chores for others so he could pursue his education. Ted entered Dawson High School at the age of 14. Despite his shyness, he soon became popular with his peers, and they liked seeing him with the red bandana he carried as a trademark. To finance his education, Ted cleaned the doctor's offices and did chores around the hospital. Ted excelled in declamatory contest. He finished his high school years as the valedictorian of the class of 1902. Entering the University of Minnesota, Ted became an energetic orator. This gave him the opportunity to appear at many points throughout the country in intercollegiate oratorical contests, where he won many of them. After graduating, he continued at the University Law School and became a teacher during the day, as this job helped him pay his way through law school, which took place at night. Upon completion of his law schooling, Ted was awarded the Phi Beta Kappa Key by virtue of ranking among their honor students. He met and married Ruth E. Donaldson's, Two sons were born to them, Robert and Paul Theodore. With a legal career in mind, he and his wife returned to Ted's hometown of Dawson, and he became a practicing attorney. This was proof that he was confident of his hometown to give him their support, although some of his friends were advising him not to enter law practice in his hometown, lest he be remembered solely as that kid. The historical record of Dawson indicates his leadership in civic and community affairs. He served as mayor of the city and purchased the Dawson Sentinel newspaper in 1909, where he became editor and publisher. Ted became very active in community and state politics. His popularity got him elected to the state legislature in 1914, where he served five terms. Ted's good showing in the legislature and his capable talent with the spoken and printed word made him a favorite choice for the Republican Party's candidate for governor in 1924. His campaign slogan was, More Ted, Less Taxes. When he came home to Dawson, he was welcomed by 8,000 people all coming to show how pleased they were that he was running for governor. Cooks worked all night preparing a great barbecue feast. Never had there been such a celebration. The Dawson people had planned a parade of 200 cars to meet Ted and his wife, but he fooled them all by not arriving on that Friday, but on Thursday night. No matter, the feast and merriment went as planned. Election day, he voted in Dawson and then waited at the Hanson and Dahl Furniture Store to hear the election results on one of the first radios in Dawson. When the returns came in, he was Governor Ted. The St. Paul Pioneer Press 
dated June 29, 1924, gave pictorial and narrative credit to Christensen and his home community with such blazing headlines as how hometown-backed GOP gubernatorial nominee who came from farm boy, again as lawyer, and now as party leader, and another Dawson welcomes home primary victor with great barbecue. As governor from 1925 to 1931, Ted led the reorganization of the state constitution. He knew that smaller was better. He saw to it that all departments were smaller and combined departments wherever he could. He limited taxes and cut expenditures at every level. His nickname became Tightwad Ted. In 1932 to 1937, Ted was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives. After leaving politics, he and his wife moved to Chicago and served as secretary and manager of the National Association of Grocers from 1937 to 1939. Then he became public relations counsel of the National Association of Retail Druggists from 1933 to 1945 and finally editor of that association from 1945 to 1948. Governor Ted moved back to Dawson to retire and died of a heart attack in 1948 at the age of 65. We remember him as we drive on State Highway 7 and on Lacoparle County Road 20 named Theodore Christensen Memorial Drive. His roots in Lacoparle County run deep as he built memories with his family in their summer home. We can still view evidence of the impact and respect that Theodore Christensen had on the region through his selection as the Dawson's Gnome in 1989. His portrait is included in the Heritage Mural located on the wall in the Dawson's Midwest Bank as the only real historic figure. His example helps us to dream of better things and work for better things so we can enjoy better things. Governor Ted, long live his memory. <music>